For this fan build, we decided on a 3000 watt inverter and 300 amp hours of lithium batteries with room for a fourth battery if necessary. Power will be acquired from 400 watts of solar, the alternator, or shore power. This video focuses mainly on the electrical panel. After sketching out a rough electrical schematic on paper, I looked up the size of each component and cut a sheet of paper to actual size. The room in the van dedicated to the electrical panel is a 26 by 26 inch space. So that's the size of my white sheet of paper. I placed all my components, then looked up the wire sizes by using Blue C Systems Calculator. There'll be a link in the description. This ensured that I had the right wire sizes that were able to carry the correct amperage to each device. After this was completed, I ordered the parts, and as they arrived, I placed them on the sheet of paper. Let's go through this step by step, starting with the solar panels. This system will have two 200 watt solar panels for a total of 400 watts. For the prototype, I'm using a single 200 watt panel. Each solar panel has a maximum current output of 9.9 .9 amps and an open circuit voltage of 24.3 volts. These will be connected in series. When making electrical connections in series, the voltage adds up and the current remains the same. So that will provide 48.6 volts at 9.9 .9 amps. If I were to connect them in parallel, it would provide 19.8 amps because the current adds and 24.3 volts. From the solar panels, the electricity will travel through a 10 gauge wire. Remember, Blue C Systems has an excellent calculator to find the proper wire size for your application. You can always use larger diameter wire. Doing so will save you from buying dozens of different sizes of wire. I'll make a separate video on wire size. A 10 gauge wire can handle up to 30 amps for a distance of 10 feet with minimal voltage drop. That 10 gauge wire goes into the DC circuit breakers. This 16 amp DC breaker protects the circuit and allows an easy way to disconnect the solar panels from the entire system. It's important to be able to disconnect the panels so they are not damaged when you are working on the electrical system. From the DC breaker, the wire enters a solar charge controller. Solar charge controllers are rated by voltage and current. For example, this Victron Solar MPPT 100-30 charge controller will handle an open circuit voltage of 100 volts and a maximum charge current of 30 amps. For my application, this is more than I need. I could have purchased a smaller charge controller, but decided on this unit because it will allow me to add solar panels if I find that necessary. Always build so you have options, so you don't end up stuck in a corner and needing to buy expensive hardware later. This charge controller has a Bluetooth app that allows you to monitor the charge rates, the charging voltage and current, and the condition of your batteries. An 8 gauge wire leaves the charge controller and enters a 50 amp fuse. 
the 50 amp fuse is connected with a bus bar to a 350 amp disconnect. Behind the disconnect is a 2 aught wire which goes through a 300 amp fuse and onto the lithium ion batteries for charging. After the disconnect there is a bus bar with room for four fuses. Three of them are needed. One is there for future use just in case I need to protect a circuit with a different fuse rating. Remember always design with options so you have the flexibility to make changes in the future without having to rebuild the entire system. A 100 amp fuse goes through a 6 gauge wire and to the DC fuse box. The 250 amp fuse goes through a 2 aught wire to the inverter. The other 250 amp fuse goes to the alternator switch which will allow us to charge the batteries using the van's alternator. Looking at the negative bus bar, an 8 gauge wire comes from the solar charge controller to the bus bar. A 6 gauge wire goes to the DC fuse box. A 2 aught wire goes to the battery monitor and onto the batteries. A 2 aught wire goes to the inverter and another 2 aught wire goes to chassis ground. From the inverter, a 12-3 wire goes to the AC fuse box. Another wire from the inverter, 10-3, goes to the shore plug for charging from shore power. You see this band has lots of options for charging, shore power, solar, and off the van's alternator. In the next video, I'll show the completed panel mounting and hooking up all of the components. If you like this video, please subscribe, hit the like button, and be sure to ring that bell so you're notified when I post another video. Thank you for watching.